Let him off. All right, there. the Super Bowl rematch. Oh. Yes. The Atlanta Falcons, the New England Patriots. How many times are we going to hear about the twenty-eight to three? The prop bet would say probably about twenty-five times during this times. game. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of that. Right, but guys, I have 25. I have a stat for you. I have a stat for you. Yes. If I were to ask you where Matt Ryan was in quarterbacks this year. That's normally what I do. I normally am okay. the one that's posing these Where questions. would you guys say Matt Ryan, who was the number one overall fantasy quarterback last year, would be this year? Where is he? QB 11 would be my guess. 15? He is quarterback 25. Uh, it's not, not great. That's not great. Not good. Not that's good not if you drafted lights. Matt Ryan now, hoping I mean, that he would have a really good year. Now, now, hold up. Okay. If you have Matt Ryan and you're worried... Which I got a lot of people are because I'm beginning a lot of tweets. I got twice a solution for you. What's the solution, Just Chris? play the New England Patriots. Yeah, there is nothing that will make your confidence go up higher than playing a trash New England Patriots defense. I can't even believe I'm saying that. But that is where we are. It is week seven, and the New England Patriots defense is not good. They are not good. Mm -hmm. So this is a good matchup for everybody. I shouldn't have to tell you to start Devontae Freeman. Um, you're starting Matt Ryan. You're starting Devontae Freeman. You're starting the one guy that we talked about earlier that we got into a little bit was Tevin Coleman. He, this so is the guy. Spit this facts that you guys had were like, Chris, wait until we get this He's been averaging matchup. nine more touches per game over the last three weeks. That means that I like him. He's on the upside. I like him in a flex position this week because that way, if you put him there, and he scores a touchdown. If you get a touchdown from your flex play, you're pretty much coasting right in for a victory. Yeah, I'm not buying. He's being used in the in the passing game a ton. I think that's where you want him most. Yep. And you're starting Julio Jones, but I, I have a stat for you guys. Ooh, how many bring in this? Uh, how many red zone targets does oh. Julio Jones have this season? Zero. Three. Okay. How many targets do I have in the red zone this year? Zero. Add one to that, and that's how many Julio Jones has. Wow, so bad. So they like, can talk also all injured. The, yeah. Restraining order on him. Right, on the I said they have a restraining order against the end zone, and again. They could talk all they want of, no, we're going to get Julio Jones involved in the red zone this week for about two and a half years now. It's not happening. Just know that going in. You're starting Julio Jones, but just know that going in. So my overall, my love this week. No, no, no. You know how I've been locking and loaded. You can be crushing. You can lock and load. I've been locking and loaded. Okay. It's overall in the tight end position, and that is Austin Hooper this week. Okay. Yeah. Austin you Hooper. You did it again. You just I told made you. a graphic I, happen. How I does know. that work? It's, uh, I, I don't got, have I got that skills. ability. The Patriots have now allowed a touchdown to the tight end position in five of six games. Is that good? You could replace tight end with any position, and that's, that, that's <laughs> a position that's probably accurate. But, Number four wide receiver. Yeah, you yeah. Can, you, uh, you, here's, it would be accurate Here's no the what. thing with Hooper, though. This is a guy that he had a good game against Chicago at the beginning of the year. He's everybody kind of been, freaked out. Everybody I freaked go out. Pick up Austin Hooper. Exactly. Overreacted. But I do like this matchup specific to him because New England has struggled against the tight end position. Like we said, the tight end position is overall not very good. So you look at an Austin, Ho Austin Hooper this week, and you like him. Yes, I agree. Also leads all Falcons in red zone targets and touches. Or excuse me, catches and targets.